I'm noping pretty hard at this level, to be honest with you, because I hate it. Knocks with machine guns. With arrow bullets as well. With mine bullets! That's telekinesis, Kyle. That's a great album. Isn't it? I just prefer that one to, to the other one. To the Pick of Destiny, yeah. yeah. Pick, of the Pick of Destiny was alright. Yeah, it, it just wasn't as good, was it? It, it, it was lacking something. Good. To be honest, I think Tenacious D as a concept could only go so far. Yeah, right. They kind of outlasted it, really. Yeah. It's because it's comedy, isn't it? Humour can only go so far before you're out of shit. So, I mean, I don't think... Sorry to all the people Davis on YouTube, but, for a while, but you know, he's been out of shit for the entire of that time. <laughs> and in fact, I don't think he had any shit to start with. <laughs> nope. I think it's a Doug Stanhope routine where he talks about Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix. You know, it's like they're a lost genius and stuff. It's like, well, nah. If they were still alive today, they'd probably be playing like fucking metalcore. <laughs> just con like supporting concerts in like the halftime at like Anyone Wembley. Anyone remember when we were successful? No. <laughs> No, that's harsh. Because, I mean, yeah, it's true, though, isn't it? Because look at Robert Plant, for fuck's sake. Oh, God, yeah. Well, didn't he do that fucking... I can't remember who it was with, but it was some young hip urban singer. And it's like, dude, what the fuck are you playing at, man? You were the, fr you were the front man of Led Zeppelin. This this is not allowed. Nah, because she was British, definitely. It, that was the specific thing about it. It's like, oh, sell out UK tour, Robert Plant oh. and this other bitch. Nope. I was like, yeah, but is he going to sing Black Dog? Is he going to sing fucking Dazed and Confused? No. Because the rest of his band are dead. And also, <laughs> the ones that aren't dead are not massive sellout assholes. Guys, can't we get Led Zeppelin bets to give him? Go on tour, make a bit of money. Nah. Fuck off, Rob. <laughs> We're rich enough. <laughs> we, can, we can go in it and shoot priest territory here. Yeah. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. But guys, guys, I've still got a massive coke habit. I need to pay more. <laughs> We've been off the drugs for 20 years, mate. Go tour with Rihanna or something. I'm sure she'll be interested. <laughs> Go tour with Amy Winehouse. She likes it, drugs. Fucking hell. <laughs> man, that was a fucking train wreck waiting to happen from day one, wasn't it? I swear, it? man, everybody took the piss out of Amy Winehouse because of how much drugs she did. But it's like, that's what a musician's meant to do. What, drugs? She, yeah. <laughs> she, she did it properly. She was an old school rock and roll fucking musician. She yeah. was shit, but she had the right attitude at least. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, face like a horse's asshole. Well, you can't blame oh. her. She, she was Jewish. Was she? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's why she had the massive... She looked like a fucking stereoscopical fucking okay, yeah, propaganda now, now comic about it, didn't she? It, it does kind of make sense. Okay. So yeah, she was one of those things that proves the racist rule. Because, you know, there are them, uh, like, very blatantly racist and or homophobic and or sexist stereotypes that we'd all like to believe are just stereotypes, but they're also but they're true in not. some cases, <laughs> yeah. Amy Winehouse was, like... Let's see if I can get this. The stereotypical uh, Jewess. Uh, no, no, fuck! Oh, well, they've respawned. And now they're dead. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's... That's really funny, actually, because I mean, I'm doing um, obviously I'm doing I'm I'm writing the Nefertiti album at the moment, right. and uh, Ratnu, the dr uh, the guy who's doing drums for it, excellent drummer, absolutely phenomenal drummer, and he, but he's like he's like 17, hmm. he's a very very young kid, and uh, he, but his parents are very old fashioned, and hmm. uh, I sold him a bunch of my old T-shirts recently because I, I've been selling a lot of my male T-shirts, and um, and he sent me an email a few days later. And he was like, they haven't been around any drugs, have they? <laughs> and I was like, no, that's a stupid, well, no, that's a stupid thing to ask. Why are you asking? And he's like, oh, my parents wanted to know. It's like, because I'm, because he was going, he was going on holiday and they were afraid that if they'd been anywhere, you know, someone had like rubbed some drugs on it or something. Just like if they'd been in the same room, that yeah. they get stopped at customs. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, these t-shirts smell like they may have been exposed to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> It's a brass eye shit. They do smell vaguely like hammers. No, that's Ian Watkins. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking thing that happened as well, wasn't it? Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, Ian Watkins. 
Christ. Christ. Seriously. He were a pedo and a half, wasn't he? He was like the uber pedo. Mega lols, apparently. That was that was the that was the bit. It was sort of like he was going to make a statement saying that it was all mega lols. <laughs> like, I think it's mega lols that you're going to get raped in prison for these yeah. thirty-five years. You know. To be fair, I think he's going to spend at least twenty of it in solitary. Fair, and well, when you're in prison, all of the money does still buy you a lot of influence and leeway. So I don't know if he's going to be getting raped in prison. He's fair, he's probably going to have quite a comfortable time of it, actually. Well, getting raped. <laughs> he he probably does like that sort of thing, doesn't he? I mean, he spent the last god knows how many years raping kids. It's not that far of a push to see him oh, like. Oh fuck. He, what I'm trying to say is, Ian Watkins probably is no stranger to having men's penises in his anus and finding it pleasurable. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's probably not. But that was that was. I mean, it's like I was saying to you earlier, and and it is kind of a horrible joke, but it was just so funny when my friend brought it up. Um, one of my friends said it said that the. Uh, they, they, they're bringing up the bestiality on his computer in the court case and it's sort of like, <laughs> what? and he was saying to me why is that an issue because it's Welsh it's like a national pastime <laughs> and, <I> was, <laughs> and it's, again as I was saying it's just that mental image of, of his lawyer putting that to the court and just saying might I remind the court that my client is from Pontypridd and just everyone going fuck how do we forget about that shit have that stricken from the record <laughs> <laughs> it's been known that the defendant has indeed given good excusing cause for his bestial habits. <laughs> Mr. Watkins, although you may be Welsh, we have yet find excusable discourse for your actions against his children. The sheep may stand, but <laughs> if they can. <laughs> oh God, I mean, Hang on, I'm trying to remember what a Welsh accent sounds like. I know, it's very difficult, isn't it? Um, Imagine like a gay Scotsman. Uh, gay I don't Irishman. know. I thought they were sheep. I thought they were sheep. Mr. Watkins, they were clearly children. You solicited from their mothers. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Is it because I've gone into another voice? I can't fuck. go back to Welsh. It's like impossible. I'm the only pedo in Ponty. Well, they did look like sheep, though. <laughs> Slightly. No, that's just Liverpool, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking. You Mind you, it's not far away. Just around the corner from Wales, isn't it? <laughs> just around the corner. It is. You've seen it on the map. There's Wales, down, and then just, just down like, by its shop. No, what you want to do is you just seat Tesco, take your next left. That whole down that, M60 a bit. That whole fucking thing was like just like an absolutely horrible. I mean, I've got to say, I feel really, really sorry for his bandmates because I don't. Well, no, I They do. were in the Lost Profits. I well, don't give well, a shit about them. Well, no, but it's like, they're not gonna... They've had to break up. That, that in itself, I mean, regardless of how shitty or whatever their music is. Well, yeah, been, true. It's a livelihood lost, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. And and because no one's gonna be buying their albums anymore because their frontman or ex-frontman is a pedo. Yeah, just by association with him. Yeah. And it's like... Although, i got to say, I saw an Amazon review... Uh, do you want to say the next one? I saw an Amazon review for, um, for one of their albums... <laughs> Which was brilliant. Yeah, and this guy said, uh, Ian Watkins, you all funded it. The drugs, the orgies, yeah, like, yeah, all this sort yeah. of thing. And then you just end it off Ends with, it with average, average album. album. <laughs> <laughs> like, <that's> Three stars. <laughs> that's the best review that I have ever read for anything. <laughs> it? But it does highlight a good point, though. It's all separate from the music. What he did is not to do with it, really. Well, except some of the songs, maybe. Well, well, the fact that in one of their videos, he was sat there in, in a rapey sweater with, with a bunch of kids is kind of... Oh wait, how? Is this nasty already? Yeah, the other two levels are the. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, the hundred percent completed ones. Oh yeah, because that's nasty's loot, isn't it? Mhm. Mm Dude. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I guess. I guess we're at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, that came up quickly. So we were too busy talking about pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking asshole! Though. I, I mean, obviously, as a parent, that was like seriously kind of like, wow, that's disgusting. Have you caught pedomania? Pedo I've got to be honest, as, dis as disgusted as I am about what he did, I'm not overly like fucking like, oh my god, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. Because well, no, but worst it's... things are happening and do happen and have happened every fucking day, practically. Well, the Tories. <clears throat> mm. And I've got to say, actually, I said this to my dad as well. I um... people are really overreacting to it. I think it's like, yeah, yeah, it is a fairly disgusting thing. It's like one, it's yeah. one of the biggest like 
pedo things that we've been exposed to in recent years, but at the same well, no, time... Well, the uh. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I mean... Oh, shit. At the same time, it's like fucking... People are going well skits about with like, oh my god, this guy should be hung, castrated, oh, yeah, and his fucking bollocks should be hung from the Tower of London, and stuff like that. It's and like, then well... Then he gets away with it. Just, just, well, like, fucking... Yeah, but at the same time, also... Just people dying, man, in horrible circumstances in various ways around the world constantly. Mm. I know these kids got abused quite badly, but still alive. And the, there were only a handful of kids. And yeah, oh, he's got thousands. He's got, <laughs> he's got thousands of terabytes of porn on his computer. Has he really, though? Was he personally making the porn? Yes. Did he actually commission the porn and fund the porn? Yes. Or did he just watch Actually, it and have a wank? No, he, he some of it was made by himself. Ah, oh, fair like, enough. Like of him fucking kids and shit. You yeah. know, it's like it, it was it was really kind of like plunging. So yeah, it were plumbing the depths of depravity, but at the same time, there are still more deprived people oh, that absolutely. are out there on the on the loose, pretty much. It's not like it's not like he's the biggest asshole villain that's ever existed. Oh. He's, he's not fucking the devil himself. No, he, but he's, I mean, a, he's just... a pretty nasty piece of work, but like you know, he's not Saddam Hussein. We already killed him. <laughs> he's not Saddam Hussein. He's still alive. Isn't it? And even How Saddam Hussein wasn't as bad as Saddam Hussein is meant to be. But it's it's like a massive media storm. The people are being whipped up into this frenzy again. Yeah, I've got to say, is I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it it was just. It was just, I mean, I, I just found it, I just found it quite shocking. I mean, it's sort of like, uh, when, it, when when it's like, Ian Watkins is a pedo, and it was just like... It's because right. it, there's a massive witch hunt at the moment about it. It's like, last year, over this year in the news, yeah, it's been like, fucking, all it has been is pedophiles, <laughs> and then like, just like, pedophile, 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 <laughs> this guy from Coronation Street is pedophile, and J J Jimmy Savile are a pedophile, and Jim rather, Davidson is a pedophile. It's amazing theory of yours that, that uh, pedophiles are actually vampires. Yeah, it's only the lesser powerful vampire pedophiles that are being discovered. It's all metaphorical. Oh, Gutted. But yeah, it's like every so often something really serious otherwise than pedophiles will happen. It'll be like, you know, 30 people were killed in a mass shooting in America. And that's on the news for like a day. And then it's back to the pedophiles because they're the bigger menace. Than the people mass murdering well, and the wars remember, and the, the poverty eye, and the the brass eye Peter get an episode where yeah, it just exactly. completely satirised that whole paedophile frenzy thing. But that was like twelve years ago and it's not gone away. Nineteen ninety seven. That no no that was uh, two thousand one. Mm -hmm. Yeah sorry the Peter Geddon was a special wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah man it's like they don't it's still there but I think now it's like say it's just this big witch hunt it's like like how many famous pedos can we nail no, no pun intended well probably not even that to be honest because it's like to be fair a lot of them might have been pedos but I'm really finding it a hard stomach whenever it comes out oh this other celebrity or a pedophile this celebrity or a pedophile are you, are you really sure or is this just like fucking third hand evidence from some bitch that wants a bit of compensation and media attention like because I'm pretty sure that not the entire of the TV industry is made out of pedos. That's hard to believe. <laughs> like if you go into the BBC TV studios, all you'll find is a den of noncery. <laughs> den of noncery. The noncery. Yeah. <laughs> like these things are going into the wall, aren't they? Slowly and deceptively. Uh. No, no, no! Oh, man. oh man, nice. Suck my dick, you fucking green cunt. Oh, that must have hurt. You see them crystals come out of his crotch. <laughs> oh, Nasty. kidney stones. Yeah, purple ones are that. Worth a lot of money. No wonder he was keeping them all to himself. <laughs> Why are you standing on your hind legs all of a sudden? They've just taught him that, haven't they? They're gonna give him a bony off. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Well, dun, 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 dun. ladies and gentlemen, this has uh, been a very dark playthrough. No doubt. It brings <laughs> out the worst in us. 
playing such friendly games. Pedophiles, murder, <laughs> dictatorship, prostitution, <laughs> everything imaginable. It's just like we need to stop playing you? such nice, jolly, friendly games, man. It's it's not good for us if we play really deprived things. You know, we'll play like Manhunt or something. We'll be like, so aren't kittens nice? <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, I saw a really fluffy little Akita dog the other day. It's cute as hell and stuff. Nah. No, I think we should stick to the, uh, to the, you know, the, what the encouraging, inspirational material. <laughs> but, whoa, what the fuck kind of name was that? What? I don't know, but it had Van something. <laughs> Van something. Ivanochik. Ivanochik. <laughs> I thought that was a name for a second. It's like entertainment. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I wonder how many of these people still work in the games industry. Some of them have probably just moved on to like different companies by now. Mm -hmm. I mean, are Insomniac still making games? Mm -hmm. They are. They make Uncharted, I think. No, that's Naughty Dog, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. They make that other one. No. They've both moved on to making grim, realistic shooters and stuff. Um, Insomniac, which one do Insomniac do? They do... What's that other one, man? That other one. Uncharted. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm not up to date. I'm not up to date with this crap, man. <laughs> Answers on a postcard, viewers, or a YouTube comment. Yeah, if you if you know the answer, then uh, like, comment, and su subscribe. <laughs> we can't be asked keeping up with modern games. <laughs> it's far too much hassle for us grumpy the most old modern, men. The most up to date console I own is a PSP. You know. Not a PS Vita, a PSP. The most up-to-date one I own is a PS2. <laughs> a fat one, not even a thin one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm not even that much further ahead of you, really. And I only had to replace my fat PS2 because it died after 10 years of service. Yeah, I think we got my dad a thin PS2 for Christmas once. And he, <laughs> he only played Killzone on it and that were it. <laughs> it was kind of charming, but... Yeah, so... Well then, that was fun. That was alright, yeah. <laughs> New Game Plus? Nah. Yeah. Nah. Oh, what's the, let's just see what this asshole wants. Mm. Dude, we just fucking... Did we just save this guy? No, it's a different one. My porno stash! When you're old enough, Spyro, I'll show you. This is where all the female dragons are hidden. <laughs> We keep them chained up and immobile, blindfolded and gagged. Yeah, you can do what you want not with a them. Dragon. Yeah, because yeah, we got us all in his fucking dungeon there. <laughs> Little nasty. That was the hidden the hole that got cut. Nasty's right dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's an entirely different thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll save that for the internet. You can Google it if you want, though, kids. <laughs> I know a few places. Send me a private message. I'll I'll get you connected. Don't worry. I know the top quality stuff. <laughs> but with that, I think we should end. Uh, next time on Forty Four Caliber Game Surgery, we play something else again, and then probably something else after that. Yeah. And we talk about things, <laughs> and play games, and talk about things. And this is done with Forty Four Caliber Fluffy Kittens. I don't know. I don't know how to end this, man. We never ended a game before, have we? Um, yeah, no, no, this is the second game we finished after Crash Bandicoot 2. Ah, but that actually properly ends, so we had a nice ending point to shut up. That's true. Anyway, that's enough. Fuck you.